Hello, everyone. Welcome to a wonderful sunny side up Saturday. Sunny side up? It is very sunny. It is, it is sunny really sunny outside. Sunny outside. It doesn't like feel super springy. It's still in like the 30s, but it looks really springy. We opened all the windows yesterday, and I oh. think like that gene inside of me for spring cleaning kicked in because it was so nice out visually mm -hmm. that I like cleaned everything. I cleaned. I yeah, Ryan didn't do anything to help me. He emptied the dishwasher, so. I cleaned all the windows inside and out, all the window sills. I vacuumed yes. everywhere, including behind Will's mm -hmm. really scary kennel. And that boy sheds. We were like, oh, Will doesn't shed that much. But oh my gosh, if you look in his kennel or around it or under it or behind it, I'm just like, he sheds. I'm just like, where's all this hair coming from? Like, he is a water shed. He, he is. is he oh is a backyard God. shed. He is crazy. So the house is really fun. It's been like... Easier to breathe in here. Less dust. <laughs> we are a family of dust over here. And I think, like, looking at all of the clothing we are in this a room. We of dust. Yeah. We are chinchilla. I love a chinchilla. I would love a Give chinchilla. Give him a little dust they bath. They take little dust baths. You could just go behind Will's kennel and just. <laughs> we'll put him in the laundry vent. We'll be like, okay. Yeah. Do your thing. Anyway. I would love that. Welcome to What's Old Saturday. Hi. Hi. Hi! Hello. Hello! So this is the week of What's on Saturday for the week of the 2nd through the 8th. Though it wasn't really nice go. yesterday, it was a really nice week overall. We had some really warm, nice days. And also, I would say sales were quite nice as well, which I've hinted at all week, mm -hmm. and I wasn't lying. It was My pretty good. sales were a little slower this week. I got a lot of listing done. I listed everything from that big bin strip that we did, which was like 140 things, which felt really good. And I'm waiting, because this happens every single time. You gotta give it a minute. You gotta let the thing sit for a little bit and then the thing starts selling. It takes a minute. Yeah. And I just feel like we haven't quite, I've been saying this like for the past six weeks, like we have not quite hit the spring buying season yet. We're getting close. We're we are getting we are very, 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 very close. I feel like after daylight savings time, true. Like end of so March, beginning week. of April, I think things are just gonna like. Vroom. Well, when people start thinking about the holidays, like Easter and St. Patrick's yeah. Day and stuff like that, like all you think of is spring. You don't think of like having down mm -hmm. coats on and stuff for that. You think no. of like my cute little pastel sweater and stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. So I totally think we're tiptoeing right we're up to there. the border. We're yeah. Almost. There. The week started really, really good. So it was kind of like a mirage. I was like, wow, this is a really good sales week. And though it didn't get like awful, it wasn't as good at the end. So when I kept touting like, this has been such a good sales week, it's definitely for like the first half. The second half of my week was helped a lot by you guys from watching the haul on Thursday. So I appreciate all of you. And of course, we'll be talking about that in a second. The second half of the week was definitely like my really new stuff that was like the better stuff selling mm -hmm. quickly. Otherwise, at the end of this video, we do have four P.O. Box packages to open up and two of them are for the dogs. So I can guarantee there's going to be some puppy footage. Oh, immediately. We're not bring the doggies in. Well, I'll, we'll probably bring the toys to them that, in the living room and show you guys. Let's do that. And we'll open the other two at the end as well. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed mm -hmm. the videos this week. It seems like you did. The consignment video seems to have a lot of people saying that they really liked it. And in the hall, I was really worried, as you guys could tell, mm -hmm. that you guys wouldn't like where I was sitting. But literally, unanimously, almost every comment was like, I love that you're in this nude setting. Because it was just Welcome like fresh. The, we do have new. a whole house of places that we don't show you. <laughs> we do. So we, we, might, we might venture out into the rest of the house. House. Every once in a while. Someone brought up the, filming outside wanna... on the deck. And oh, stuff. okay. So I thought about this and I was thinking about this the other night. I would love to do more videos outside, but we'd have to get the microphones. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't would. be windy. Jack, what shirt do you have on today? Um, This is a JW Anderson carry shirt. And I only literally want to talk about it because <laughs> I know everybody's going to ask, what does it say? Because it is, it's... It's daunting to have a shirt where, like, you can only read a little and, like, not know what it ever says. Mine says, everybody's your friend in heaven. <laughs> and it's heaven, Mark Jacobs, and online ceramics. And mine says, if you've got a taste for terror, take Carrie to the prom. Because this is the J.W. Anderson Carrie, the horror movie collaboration. I, I have her. lately been finding some good deals on that stuff. And I have been building my collection of that. The collection just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Yes, the Halloween the capsule problem. collection. Literally this morning, it's growing. I bought some loudmouth golf candy corn shorts. 
That's a serve. Though. Love. Those I'm are so excited. So fun. Okay, we should probably talk about. Let's talk about the things that we did this week. So first yeah. up, we're gonna start off with our Valentine VIP of the week, and this is a special Valentine VIP because we have a good old Judy sister. We of have ours. not only met this person Absolutely. in person, but we've met her in person many a times. This is our good friend Laurel. Oh, Laurel. Laurel's closet is flip flop thrift, so she's kind of coming Laurel. for my brand. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So that is, of course, spelled F L I P F L O P T. H R I F T. Now Laurel, I can I can vouch for Laurel having a lot of good stuff because we see when we see her in person, it is at the bins, and so I'm seeing the stuff that she's picking up, and some of it she even asks me if she should yes. pick up. So this stuff is literally physically Jack Valentine approved because oh, some of it she's literally asked, should I get this? And I said yes. So yeah. it's went through the rigorous process of being the rigorous. Being, uh, <laughs> yeah. So in Laurel's closet, she has all kinds of good stuff. She's got all kinds of really good anthrone free people. I saw some really cute free people jeans, Ooh. really cute anthro pants Love and clothes as well. Man. She had this really cool Nike quilt kimono. It was part of that like Nike yoga line, oh, which so they fun. make more like leisure stuff. It was That's really where adorable. my, I as I call it, booger coat comes from. It's this big Nike Sherpa yoga coat and I love it. And every time I wear it, Jack goes, mm, you got the booger coat on today because it's booger green. So Laurel. Laurel also has a Sundance, I call it the strawberry lemonade sweater. I always have to call everything that when it's like that oh, red mm -hmm. and like pastel yellow. I think it was new tags too. And then she also has really cute Madewell pants. She has really cute driftwood jeans, all the, yeah. all the good stuff. Laurel watches every single video we make. So she attention. definitely has picked up probably every brand we've ever said. Thank you, Laurel, for being a Valentine. And thank you for always being so nice and so sweet. It's always so nice to go to the bins and see Laurel there. Okay, so let's get into the sales. And let's start off with, of course, the non-Poshmark platform ones. I do have one Mercari and then I have a handful of eBay. <laughs> I have one Mercari. I have two eBay and I have one, two, three, four. So starting off with Mercari, my one was this Hermenegilda Xenia Closet Suit Clothing on Hangers graphic tie. It was so adorable. I think I actually got this at a consignment store. It was like three bucks, which for some of the designer ties, I'm totally willing to pay like three or under. Obviously, I don't want to pay much, yeah. but as long as you wait long enough, like this sold for $22.50 and so easy to store, mm -hmm. so easy to photograph. Like they're just some nice. of the easiest things to sell. So I do not mind finding some of the certain brands designer ties. I what a good will price ties now. They're sometimes like Are they nine three, dollars. $4? Sometimes like, they're like nine. Ooh. They like they price them separately. My one and only on Mercari was this vintage 1990s Marlboro black red nylon windbreaker. I do pick up some of the Marlboro stuff because it still has like a little bit of a following. Like people are still looking for that kind of thing. Those Harley kind of people. Yeah. Sold for $34. I make whatever 10% less than that is. Next up on eBay, I had six sales. Dude. My first sale was a really good one. It was this Sue Sartor Emerald Marigold Flounce Floral Boho Blouse. We have talked about her on a bolo list. I think it was like dresses last year. It was a dress. I might have said blouse. But I think when I hear boho, I for some reason go boho blouse. I feel I don't that. know. But it was a dress. But we talked about her last year for a spring dress bolo list, I believe. She's a super high-end brand. Some of her dresses are kind of Agua Bendita aesthetic. Mm -hmm. And she's she's pretty, like, not widely known. It's a pretty niche one. She's a girl that grows. So it can do really good when you mm -hmm. find it. This sold for 250 which honestly I would actually expect more. But I will take it. And the buyer did pay shipping. That did not sell through its promotion. Then, still only not her by Joe's wife because I have not figured out her name yet but Joe's wife popped back into my eBay and she purchased the Dolls Kill Rare Halloween Glow in the Dark Skeleton Bodysuit which Ooh, is, that is amazing fun. and Dolls that is Kill a fun one. attacked me multiple times when I had the model picture so don't apparently use Dolls Kill model pictures <laughs> okay. So this went for thirty two eighty, and she paid shipping. So thank you to Joe's wife. Perfect. That's just what she's doing. Thanks, Joe's do. wife. Then I sold another leg in the brand, and this one was Gertie's. This was a Gertie's big shirt. I think is literally what the label said. Big Gold shirt. oversized leg and look blouse. Sold for 40 which was my listing price. Buyer paid shipping. That's great. Then I sold this Lululemon clip dusty pink zip pouch. This was from the bins and it was literally brand new. This is adorable. There was not a thing wrong with it. Not a scuff. Not nothing. Sold for 30 Buyer Shoot. paid shipping. And then one last time, Joe's wife popped back into this closet. Not this closet. Into this eBay shop. She had told me she it's was- It's right here. She had told me she was gonna be looking for that. So once I got that on eBay, she purchased that, the Torrid Skull Christmas Light Graphic Halloween Pajama Top, 
with a Torrid Lace Halter Intimate Baby Doll Lingerie Slip. Oh, I and love a good Torrid bundle. She got these for 65 and paid shipping. Thank you so much to Joe's wife, please. Next time you buy something or on this video, comment what your name is so I don't have to keep you by your husband's name. We don't have to say Joe's wife, name. literally. <laughs> and that's it for my eBay. My first on eBay lives in a very wonderful place in my heart. I love these bags. Lives in my carotid artery. It really lives in my left ventricle. <laughs> my first on eBay was this Harvey's Orange Mini Seatbelt Bag. This was a genuine authentic Harvey's bag, which I feel like I don't find that much authenticated anymore. Authenticated straight from the factory, straight from the from the, um, okay, so I Googled it because I was like, why did they make these? They would get the seatbelts from- We've done this. Yeah. We added on a bottom list and you did all the research. I did. And I think it's hysterical. I like that you're like, guys, I have some new let news me, Let you. me tell you about this really new <laughs> brand that I found. No, this one, I think I had listed at 50 or 60 and she offered me 45 and I said, certainly, which was great. So I make some money on that. And she's like, well, actually, my seatbelt in my car broke and I'm going to unwrap she goes, it. I'm going to unweave it. Wire and it in. into my I car. wanted it to be orange. Yeah. Because it matches my vibe. That would be kind of cool. That'd be so cool. I wish you could, Aren't like... seatbelts, like, way longer than we think they oh, are, though? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Because they're, like, all wound well, up in the little... They're actually one size fits all, unlike Randy Melville, so... My next on eBay was this Clark's Desert Original... Boot, these had this really fun, like, geometric, kind of artsy-fartsy print on it. I don't know who the artist was. If you do, please tell me. These sold for 40 bucks, and I will make some money on those <laughs> as well. Should you be the one informing us about the artist? I should, but I don't know. Mm. Okay, well, I didn't have any on Depop. I had four. First of which being Cute. a really adorable, oh my gosh, I almost called it a Girl Scout, a Dolls Kill. I don't know where that got mixed up. This did not have model pictures, so I was not being killed by the dolls. <laughs> you were not litigiously hunted down. <laughs> no. This was a Dolls Kill and New Girl Order orange flare sleeve tie front crop top. Super cute. New Girl Order. I don't, never heard of it. It's just like a cute little fast fashion brand. Nobody's heard of any Dolls Kill brands. No, they haven't at all. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, sold for 25 Then I sold this vintage 1970s crochet triangle tie back tube top headscarf. This was one of those like knit pieces of fabric that was a square and you could either tie it around yourself this way or tie it around yourself this way. Mm. Either way. Sold for $20. And then I sold this vintage Y2K quilted patchwork colored quilt coat. I need to bust my quilt coat out. I have one. I have one that I had made and it's my childhood blanket from my grandmother's house. It's a good nice spring like, jacket. It's a good spring jacket. This one sold for 30 and then my last on Depop, I have a, another beige one sitting on right over there. Vintage Y2K corduroy brown button front vest sold for $20. And I will make some money as well. Nice. Okay, so moving on to Poshmark. On the second, the first day of the week, I had six. <laughs> Two. My first sale was another Hermena Jill Desenia tie, and this was a tulip floral printed one. So very Perfect. fitting. Probably An Easter some, moment. Yeah, probably like some kind of church mm -hmm. tie. Sold for $20, I get 16 but once again, that was definitely a bins one. So, wow, mm -hmm. you think of the, the nickel, the whole nickel that I had to whip out. Wow. For then I sold the De Seagal Color Block Pattern Zip Graphic Sweater. This shockingly sold super quick. And as you guys know from the haul, that inspired me to then pick up another De Seagal sweater. That was also actually really cute. Love. So this sold for 31, I get 21.82. I do not mark that brand up. Like I know some of the pieces, honestly, the retail is like not bad, mm -mm. but like I don't mark it up because get it out. That's it. I, yeah. That's no. it, that's it. Then Liz popped into my closet and Liz made herself a bundle of a couple pairs of pants. And pants. Liz got the Nike City Edition men's khaki color cargo pants. She also got these American Eagle Distress baggy mom jean shorts, perfect for spring. And then I freaking love these. And they're so Ryan's color. These are adorable. Zara these Kelly so Green cute. pleated trendy wide leg pants. They were like Issey Miyake meets Ryan's favorite color. Ugh. These all sold to her for 65 with discount shipping, so I get 49.02, so thank you to Liz. Then I sold this Athleta 2022 Ritual Sports Bra for 25. I get 17.02. I honestly like never list Athleta bras, but as I said in the title, this one was from 2022. So yeah, if they're newer, I would 100% list them. Yeah. Then I sold another bundle to another one of you. So Ashley popped into my closet, and it was another bra. A bra. And actually, it was two bras. So Ashley purchased two Torrid bras. One was the floral lace push-up bra, and one was that oh, very cool. Lisa Frank looking. <gasps> oh my um, gosh, that blue. 
blue, like yeah. two different ones. Push up one. She got these for 40 with discount shipping, oh. and I get $29.98. So thank you so much, Ashley. Then Michelle popped into my closet and Michelle got herself something bougie. This so is cute. Michelle purchased my Gucci monogram metallic leather snap wallet. And yes, it's a Gucci wallet. And yes, I sold it for $88. <laughs> I have a couple wallets of like high-end brand. Like I think I still have a Louis one in my closet right now that they're just not in the best shape. Mm -hmm. And I really wanted to just like move them. Yeah. So I think the Louis one's like mm -hmm. 100 bucks. And I probably sent out like... 85 or something but she got this one for 88 and i get 67.42 and as she said literally in her review it still has a lot left to love in oh, it absolutely. so she's gonna use it absolutely to death, which i life love so thank you so much michelle for extending the life because it is such a cute wallet yeah. my first on the second was a harley davidson tie-dye a biker long sleeve t-shirt it sold for 15 dollars. i will make 12. my next one was from the last bins haul that we did i don't know if it was a haul the last bins trip. Anthropology Maeve Canary Yellow Ribbed Beanie. It sold for $25. I will make $20. Was that? Was that? Was, was that? <laughs> was that the, um, spirit? <laughs> uh, um, oh my gosh, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? What's, what's his, his name? name? What's his name? Everybody's thinking of it because the picture's up and they're probably screaming, Jack, it's this, Jack, it's this. the The Christmas Carol guy. <laughs> Scrooge! This was your Scrooge hat, wasn't it? Oh, it was! <laughs> yes! Everybody's My little, like, like, everybody's like, Jack, it's Scrooge! That's it. Yes, it absolutely was. Yeah. My Scrooge hat sold. That was hilarious. What a joy. That was funny. My little nightcap. <laughs> I cap. hope whoever bought that only <laughs> wears it like that and always has a candlestick. I'm a country girl. Yeah. Country life is all I've known. On the third, I had four. <clears throat> My first sale was this pair of Everlane Wide Leg Crop Corduroy Pants. Super trendy. Cute. Corduroy is so in. My grandma just bought a pair of corduroy. Yes, she did. She, she walked she herself to Kohl's and bought herself a pair of cords. Not Kohl's. It was oh, she went to Dillard's. Yeah, no, Von Mar. Because everything was like 90% off. Pinky up. Yeah, that's where I get it from. <laughs> she brags about how cheap she gets everything. She's like, oh, I got yeah. these corduroys for $11. That's a Midwestern And trade. I'm going to bring them back to get hemmed. And I was like, that's Good a Midwestern trait, is bragging about how low your outfit costs. Yeah, I don't know if I said it. These sold for 35 and I get 28 Then I sold this Anthropology Porridge Ruffle Rare Kitchen Apron. These always sell. This had some spots and stuff to it. So they always sell. Sold for 29 I get 23 20 Then I sold another bundle to Miss... Melanie. I love Melanie. The coach Super queen, doll. though this time she took an order off from ordering coach. We need to have something to wear with the coach bag. Exactly. And she got some cute stuff. So she got the Madewell Texture and Thread Eyelet Mixed Media, like, blouse? It was kind of like a knit blouse, so it seems weird to call it a blouse. Then she also got these Zaya Ankle Tie-Dye Printed Blue Leggings. And last up, she got right from Ryan's Taste. <sighs> Free People Softly Structured Ribbed Oversized Sweater. And this is like the, I think, newer version of Ryan's. The Easy Street Tunic. I yeah. still have. This one's more, is yours a turtleneck? It's like a little, like, mock. This one, I think, like, is yeah, actually like a, a turtleneck. Mock, I think that's, like, the only difference. So, she got all these for 136 I get 10880 Thank you so much, Melanie. That is such a cute button. Did they ever make that one in, like, a forest green? Mm -hmm. Well, you green? I will buy it. And last, for the third, I sold this Isabel Morant Graham Crushed Velvet Midi Dress. So cute, and I love these colors. A yes. really good spring piece. Sold for 200 and I get 160 On the fourth... I had two. None. <laughs> My first on the fourth was this Ula Johnson Gareth Canyon striped quilt Ooh, coat. Uh, so beautiful. freaking cute. Sold for 276 mm -hmm. and I get 218.78. So as you can see, oh. this is around the time where I was like, oh my gosh, this is such a good sale. This is the moment. Like I had just mm -hmm. sold Isabel Moran and then I sold Ula. And then I sold these. These were from our new local Goodwill. As you guys saw from that up. video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you missed that, like the opening of that Goodwill was... <laughs> Crazy. Go check. So at our new Goodwill location, I found these Christian Dior CD leather Montaigne thong sandals. These sold for three hundred. I had them listed at like five fifty, and I would have loved to get more, but I paid like eight dollars. They were eleven dollars. So hard, so hard to not take three hundred. Yeah. Somebody got a good deal. I would have not money. went any lower than three hundred, no. but. 
300 is fair. And I get 240. They also sold so quick. Those were beyond stunning. They were adorable. Beyond stunning. They were beautiful. On the fifth, I did not have any. I had three. Look wow. at me go. You stole everything from me. Good. <laughs> My first on the fifth was this LLB mohair black fair aisle button front Nordic another sweater. Another one. Then I just listed another one. So maybe next week. Me too. Week. Maybe next week. This one sold for 25. I make 1702. And then Miss Erin popped into my closet. I also, Erin's Poshmark picture is like this really glamorous version of Miss Piggy. <laughs> And I idolize Miss Piggy. I think she's hysterical. Only One icon. of my biggest regrets in life is way back in the Janine days, I got a Miss Piggy Disney wallet on Poshmark oh, for like yeah. $10 That's and right. I sold it. And I think about that wallet all the time. I miss it. Erin partakes in only iconic anyway, behavior. That's absolutely true because <laughs> we do iconic things. Um, She got a really wonderful little springtime, summertime bundle. Spring summer. First one was an Aritzia TNA seafoam v-neck collared cherry cloth shirt. This used to be mine. It was just a little short on me. But when you're 6'2 and have a like really long torso. And you buy from a store made for girlies. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anybody in Aritzia who's like over five feet. Yeah, seven. unfortunately, there's so much cute stuff there, but it, it the just girl, doesn't they're work tiny. For us. It just doesn't work. Are, it doesn't no, work for guys. It doesn't the work jeans, for us. maybe. Or like maybe some of the puffers, but like nothing else. No, I know. So I hope Erin loves that. She also got this really adorable pair of Abercrombie and Fitch high rise light wash. I think these were like a dad short or the 90s short. They were a really good new one. These were from the last bit trip that we did as well. So is this next thing Urban Outfitters men's black UO corduroy little volley jorts. These are so cute. And I really want to pair these in green, shockingly. I love them. And they were so comfortable. And then she got this vintage 1980s kid core novelty shoe print, adorable little polo. Bundle sold for $80 and I will make $64. Thank you, Erin. Yes. Next, a lot of the biker stuff this week. Harley Davidson burnout lace up neck something. <sighs> so I can't read the rest of the title. It was a little long sleeve shirt. Sold for $23 and I will make $18.40. On the six, I only had one. Same. My oh. only sale, we found the first crack in the structure that is Ever Eve. Ooh. Ever Eve Cameron gathered v-neck blouse. Sold for 18. I get 14.40. This was a bins one. Mm -hmm. I think the same rules that would always apply to Anthro, like, would obviously apply to Every too. If it's just not as substantial yeah. and not as, it's like, like interesting, it's just not going to sell for as much. That's so, fine. yeah, That's I okay. still will pick up all Every Eve, and I am a pro Every Eve person for I sure. I love that for you. And here, it is a time yeah, cousin. At the, Ever Eve, at the Every Eve capital of the world. Literally. The news lady Lit literally just brought up, a, up how much she loves Every Eve the other day. I think that's where I'm going to work because isn't there like there's supposed to be a smell isn't there, there style there's like you have to like it's kind of like clientele shopping i think i would mm, clean a house there's a smell. are you kidding me there's a smell that they won't tell me you. and the minnesota agina moms my one and only on the sixth was this really phenomenal y2k denim top handle structured open bag I loved this. It did just take up a lot of space in our purse shelf, and I have had it for a while. So, like, the novelty of having this cute little thing has worn off. Um, sold for $17, and I will make $13.60. And then on the 7th, I had five. I had two. My first, that was this vintage soft leather button Y2K 90s jacket. This Love to sell the leather jackets. They sell all year, any yes. season. They do. Oh, I thought you just, like, hissed at me. It's like... <laughs> so for um, <laughs> so for forty eight dollars and I get thirty eight forty. Then Megan, Megan, Megan popped into my closet and Megan purchased drum roll. She got the other day Seagal sweater. So this is the one that I was inspired to pick up because of the sale of the other. And now I guess if I find another really cute one, I'll grab we'll it at the bins. Megan. So yeah. this sold for thirty to her and I get twenty four. I think I saw a couple comments on the haul of people saying they wanted to go get it. Is already gone. So Megan, I guess you're a speed demon. I always feel so bad. You're a speed happens. racer. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish I had more. Then I sold this Zara kimono printed tied wrap dress. Mm -hmm. So for 25, I get 20. Of course, that was bins. I will not buy Zara anywhere else. No. Then Gina popped into my closet, and Gina got herself something freaking beautiful, and possibly got a steal of a deal. This is the and bolo also snatched something that I think a lot of other people wanted. So this vintage Citron Santa Monica silk printed kimono sold to Gina for $61 and I get $48.80. I have been informed by a lot of you guys that Citron or Citrone, I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced, no is a really good pickup. So I am definitely going to keep those eyes peeled and give it another shot when I find another one. I feel like I've seen it before, but with any label like that, it's so hard to... That's very true. So hard to know. That's very true. I, I looked at it last night and I hope I burned it into my memory. 
I feel love like to find if video. I've seen it before, it hasn't been the pretty ones. Cause I see, I feel like when I looked at yeah. the comps, like there's definitely like, there's the really pretty printed ones. And then there's stuff that's just super plain. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel like I've seen, cause I would have looked it up. I feel like if I yeah. saw the pretty stuff. So thank you, Gina. In other words, then Jackie popped into my closet and Jackie wanted the Ann Taylor knit sweater duster cardigan trench coat so adorable. we've heard of the the sweater blazers but get ready for the sweater trench i love that this sold for 50 dollars to jackie and i get 3702 and that was new with tags and it was from 2023 so that thing is, is like miss ann taylor just like she said threw nah. it from her store in the bins <laughs> it was an I believe online only thing because like the tag doesn't oh, have, the price. have the price. On so it, I think yeah. that means it's only online. Mm -hmm. But the retail I think was like two fifty. Dang. And Taylor's expensive. I always forget that the small brands are so expensive. And that is it for my seventh. My first on the seventh was a pair of Levi's blue five fifty Rahem cutoff shorts. Sold for twenty four dollars. I will make nineteen twenty. This one. Keep an eye out for these because some of these can go for some big shmoney, apparently. True Religion Y2K Patchwork Leather Baseball Hat. Some of these were listed for like $175. I don't think they are anywhere near selling for that much. Like, yeah. But keep an eye out. This one sold literally two seconds after I posted it for 30 bucks, and I make 24 you're welcome. Thank you. I gave that one to Ryan. I was at the bins and like, so our bins, as you guys know from videos, are like in rows of two. Yeah. And so when they're rotating out, everyone has to stand behind this red line and you are not supposed to cross the red they line. They do yell Or they you. will yell at you. But this hat was on top of like the second bin over. So when they were moving, I like, when it's, no one was looking, I was kind like, of a thing. And I like you, just, it. you take a little stroll yeah. and you look at the other side of the bin. It's so kind of, it's I did kind of the risk my life. That Thank you. It works wonderfully. <laughs> On the eighth, I had seven. One. My first house from my own personal collection, and it was this pair of Prada gray side stripe tear away 90s pants. It's so cute. So cute. I did love them, but I also have a lot of like black Prada pants that I like a lot more and I wear a lot more. If you can't tell, I wear black. <laughs> and these sold for 175 and I get 13203, which I think is great. They were kind of tricky to photograph, which can make things obviously like harder to sell. So okay. I'm happy to see them go. Then I sold these a uh, Goldie Riley black gray denim shorts for 42. I get 3360. I love a Goldie shorts. Honestly, the shorts do better they than do the jeans. So good. Unless I mean it was like an amazing style, but I feel like Mm -hmm. For the most part, I can sell the shorts faster. Yes. Then Colby popped into my closet and she was like, get this, this, and this listed because I want them. And I was like, Colby, do. Absolutely. so as you wish. So it is said, so, so it shall, shall be, be done. done. Yes. Colby wanted the Kuyana Structured Leather Classic Zip Top Tote, which I can see why. So cute. She also wanted the North Face Camo Faux Fur Trapper Hat, which thank you to the people that commented and told me that it's a trapper hat. I did not. I, I knew it had a name. I just call him Cousin Eddie. Hats. I, th I thought it was like a bomb. What is a, a bomber hat's a thing, right? I think. I don't think so. Because there's a bomber jacket, but I swear it's like a bomber There's hat. like a pilot hat. I don't know. But that's just know. a trapper hat. And know. then also this Roan Tundra hooded quilt puffer coat, which interesting enough, Roan is like a men's brand that is sold on Revolve. The Revolve men's section has a lot of Roan. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't which know I thought was, I didn't either. This is how I found that out. <laughs> and this bundle sold for 150 and I get 120. So thank you so much, Colby. That was all very nice stuff. Then I sold this Anthropology Maeve Jamie paint splatter printed sweatshirt. Very <laughs> up Ryan's alley. So cute. This thing was doing so good. I had it listed for like two days. Already had like six or seven likes. Mm -hmm. Sold for 41 and I get 29.82. Sell an anthro for 41. Not common That's anymore. A wonderful, wonderful thing. Then I sold this Vince cashmere green v-neck pullover sweater for 70 and I get 56. Once again, the cashmere mm -hmm. performing so well this year. Heaven. Then I so sold good. this Janie and Jack mountain graphic knit sweater that was from the bins haul. Sold for 23. I get 1840. I definitely don't like pick up all Janie and Jack, but if it's Cute if enough. It's really adorable. I I'll just still can't it. skip it. And then actually another kids piece. I sold this Ralph Lauren girls dog graphic corduroy embroidered skirt. Sold for twenty, and I get sixteen. Once again, so cute. Rare to pick up kids, but if it just can't be skipped, it can't be skipped. It cannot like, be skipped. Yeah, That's you okay. gotta save it. My one and only on the eighth went to the wonderful Miss Melanie, and I loved these jeans, but they were just a little too short. Are they personal collection? Yes. <laughs> and I miss them. Urban Outfitters BDG floral watercolor jeans sold for twenty nine dollars. I will make twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two. Two years ago now. 
<laughs> Lord have mercy. So my gross for the week was 1998. That's the year I was born. Yeah. Usually I'm always like, what happened in that year? This is a year that I actually know. A lot you happened that born. year. I was born, and that's kind of it. That's, <laughs> that's the biggest. That that's the biggest thing that happened. That's, that's it. Mine was 268. And my can I zoom in on the cracking of my jaw? <laughs> was 15.98 and 40 cents. I don't know what happened that year. No, that was something. Week, Conquering. I wasn't, I wasn't quite around yet. No, I wasn't. So either. I wasn't either. No. That's okay. Mine was two fourteen forty. And that's all. And that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote today. Yeah, that so, is okay. Let's get into the fun stuff. We're gonna <gasps> pop into the PR box. Oh yeah, but as per usual, let us know how your sales week was. I was talking to Laurel because I did. I actually saw her at the bins this week, and she was saying like that posh has still been pretty slow for her which i can yeah, agree with agree. like besides you guys being sweet and generous and kind and mm -hmm. snatching stuff from the hall i feel like it wasn't like the fastest week but as ryan said i think it's gonna pick up really well, wait quickly. i think we're still just and speaking of ryan ryan's gonna have a haul go up on thursday of this week i ryan oh, only i'm so haul. excited i it's am so many good things i am gonna be in it but it's gonna be a jack reacts because we actually did we went to the bins on a day that we like didn't expect we'd be able to so we didn't film or anything no. but like as per usual we didn't see everything that each other picked up yes. so i'll be reacting and ryan will be showing you the stuff that he i'm got. so excited it's so many good things yeah. tuesday we don't uh, know. we'll figure it out we'll see we'll yeah. figure it out yeah. Okay, P.O. Box packages. Let's do the dog stuff last. So let's do the okay. other things first. And then we will show Mike and Will enjoying their So we have an envelope and a box. And if you're wondering how do we know that it's dog stuff, it's because the packages are squeaking. I pulled it out of the P.O. Box and it squeaked and it scared the crap out of me. And so yeah. I'm very sorry. Okay. A poly Cute. Number. This one does not have a name. It is from... Is this an address? New Jersey. New Jersey. Does this have a card? Oh, oh I love. Okay, yes, there is a note. I'll oh. read it. So you, oh, <laughs> so you owe me a quarter. Shanny. So oh, adorable. Oh, it's Shannon. Oh, I know Shannon her. sent us this. She said, I know Okay, I will her. tell you what the note says because it's hilarious. She said, I found this at the bins <laughs> and couldn't leave it behind. It's $1.29 a pound, so you owe me a quarter. Look <laughs> how precious this is. That is so cute. Isn't it looks like Will. Boy? Oh, he's on a skateboard. He's on a little skateboard. I like his little butt heart. He does look like Will. That's so cute. That'd be like a good, like... Oh my gosh. Never give a wallet or purse to someone without oh. some money inside. It brings good luck. She sent us a dollar. So now we owe her a dollar and a How precious. <laughs> That's so sweet. We'll this put it. So adorable. We do literally have a cash box for our honeymoon oh, coming up this year. That's where that's going. This is going to go in the archive. This is going to go with the say, gifts. This would be a good like receipt holder oh, or absolutely something at the bin. I could be like a snack pouch. Next up, we got Thank a Shannon. Next up, we got so a box. Cute. Yeah, we love Shannon. She's so nice. She's this is from someone named Catherine who actually lives in Minnesota. And that sounds very familiar. She lives not too far away. That sounds very, very... Familiar. Oh, love the paper. Okay, so we have a couple things. But okay, wait, hold on. There's a note. Possibly are breakable. Look! <gasps> Where is this card from? It says it's hers. This, if I'm not mistaken. So Catherine, I think, has, yeah, a YouTube channel. Literally, Catherine Young YouTube. Catherine Young YouTube, yeah. And I am like 99% sure. Yeah, scan that. <laughs> this is her little. Yeah, pause it and scan her little QR code. That she watches both channels. And comments a lot. Okay, but like, if certain. you are a thrifter, look at this greeting card. I am like, this is phenomenal. Nearly completely certain. Yeah, it's her merch store. Let me see. Oh, my dear. These the are wonderful. I'm thinking of, she has really good taste. So, she said these are vintage inspired birds from Target, but not the ones this year. Actually, I think I made a post on the, it's a Halloween Facebook group, and I think I made a post about these birds. So that would be oh really gosh. funny. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. So, each year, Target makes these little, like, Valentine's, like, what? birds. They're supposed to look super vintage, which they do. They look like, what is that, like, 70s kind yeah. of? Yeah. They these have so Easter ones precious. too, but. These are so cute. I think this year they were red and these ones are pink, which is great because we have like no Valentine's Day decor. And in a world where our last name is Valentine, like you'd <laughs> think we would. But Look at how adorable these, these are, are so though. Cute. How I love these. Precious. Thank you so Two much. Two little Catherine. birds of a feather. These are so adorable. These are adorable. 2022. Yeah. I can't Precious. Wait to get these oh, those are Actually, I mean, so they work cute. for spring. We're just going to put them up. Oh. We don't need to keep them for Valentine's Day. No, ma'am. Yeah. When I got my China hut, that's what I Thank you so much, Catherine. And if you 
you're the one I'm thinking of when you watch both channels. I appreciate it so much. She's so nice. That was really such nice. I dog. am absolutely going to order more of these cards. These are adorable. Yes. Okay. okay. Let's get into the dog toys. All right. All right. I would assume. They say for Mike and Will. They're addressed the same way, so it's probably from the same person. Happy birthday, Mike. You share the same birthday as our wonderful Aster. In honor so of you precious. being birthday buddies, we want you one of his favorite toys. Share it with Will. <laughs> So this is from so Winifred cute. B, and that is Kendra. So thank you so much, you Kendra. Kendra. We have the little adorable, oh, very fitting, yeah. little balloon dog. And then this one, is this a turtle? Is it a dinosaur? Oh, it's a little, like, alligator. Did scare the absolute can, crap out of me when I, I pulled this out of the box. I can guarantee the dogs are outside the door right now. We're gonna go now, but we're gonna show you guys the puppy dogs playing with their new little toys from, from Kendra. The intrusive so, little one. Let's go do that. Oh, I think he wants it. You want it? <gasps> Giggle Mike. Will is a happy Yeah, my, Will is a big, he's a big toy dog. Do you like the green one? Yeah. Will's like, mm, well, they're just mine. Mike, what's the vibe? <laughs> Mike's just scared. Will's like, how can I have both in my mouth at once? Will, can you say goodbye? Can you say thank you and you goodbye? You. Will? Mike, can you say goodbye? Can you say goodbye? Bye, Mike. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs>